The overall goal of the following experiment is to stimulate the dorsomedial prefrontal cortex using repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation, or RTMS, as a treatment for major depression. This is achieved by first acquiring an anatomical MRI for real-time neuronavigation during stimulation. As a second step, resting motor threshold is assessed, which identifies the patient's stimulation intensity for RTMS treatment. Next, RTMS is performed to the DMPFC in order to reduce the severity of depression. The results show a significant reduction of depressive severity in open-label pilot studies, based on self-reported and clinical administered questionnaires for depression. So the method of dorsomedial repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation, or DMPFC, RTMS, uh, is most commonly used for the treatment of major depression and for research into the basic mechanisms of major depression. However, it also has applications in other psychiatric conditions, including eating disorders, obsessive compulsive disorder, and post-traumatic stress disorder. Demonstrating the procedure today will be a couple of members from our lab. We'll have Vanity and Farouk. To begin, select patients based on the set of inclusion and exclusion criteria described in the accompanying text protocol. Exclude patients with potential contraindications to RTMS or MRI. Prior to treatment, acquire a high-resolution MRI exam that can be reconstructed in 3D. A 3-Tesla scanner equipped with an 8-channel phased array head coil is used here, but any scanner capable of acquiring high-resolution images can be used. Next, prepare for MRI guidance using a neuronavigation system. Here, the Visor 2